some way, somehow, I don't, I'm not gonna say that Jay Prince was affiliated. The story I got from Chad was, the dude came to Jay Prince to get permission to kill Chad. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. That's dope, man. That, that the, you 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 felt the energy is time to go. Oh yeah, it was yeah, it, it, it was not time to stick around when <laughs> when we only had one gun. Exactly. Yeah, we only had one gun. And them niggas know, so, already. And you know how, back in the day how the Max go, the Max used to jam. They used to jam like they used to yeah. jam like a I motherfucker. Yeah, and so um, about a couple of weeks later, we get the word that he's called somebody in Houston put a hit on pimp life, you know, so a real hit man. So uh yeah, that's why you say Yeah. Yo niggas weak, so you call Houston for the hit. Yeah, yeah. And what and, and and so how did how did you guys defuse it? Let's go all the way through it. Well, um some way, somehow, I don't I'm not gonna say that Jay Prince was affiliated. The story I got from Chad was the dude came to Jay Prince to get permission to kill Chad. Right, damn. And Jay Prince was like, no, nigga, that's you know we got a lot of money on the line. This my guy, and they gaffled him up. That's an old school word, gaffled. Gaffled him up from eight. What that mean? The, she had Jack <laughs> grabbed him, oh. uh, 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 stole. You know they gaffled him up. So that's that's back from uh, MC8. Yeah. You know, most wanted. <laughs> <long time. laughs> <laughs> Straight jacket. <laughs> anyway, so, so they gaffled up the nigga who posted did the hit. Yeah, made the phone call and told, because he told you know, who did the hiring. They sent for Ron to come to Houston. Ron come to Houston, they had a sit down. Mm -hmm. I don't know what was all, I wasn't there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what was all done at the sit down, if it was money exchange, if it was now nigga get the fuck out of here, this PMC, you know, you don't want no problem. I don't know what, what happened. But from what I understand, it was, it was squashed mm -hmm. until we had a show and I just got off the phone with my hand. Shout out to my man, Keo Gamble. He, 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 a lot of people remember this show at Park Ave. Mm -hmm. And I had done a song, the Already Song in Dallas. Mm -hmm. It was it was hot. And I was opening up for UGK. Uh, now, here we go. Another, about a year later, they back in Dallas doing the show. And then he, he brought up a situation that happened in between. And I'll talk to you about that offline. But, um, um, and I was downstairs right before my performance, you know, I'm trying to get right in the car. Mm -hmm. The park out, you know, you had to go upstairs. Oh yeah, you gotta go upstairs, you I remember to go upstairs. that. So I'm standing downstairs by that back elevator. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm hold in on, my hold car. Hold on, you gotta say the old school park out. The oh, real, yeah. the yeah. real yeah. park out. two yeah. park out. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm talking yeah. about James Price, yeah, my man yeah, Latini, yeah, yeah, and Tony yeah. Knight. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Shout out to Tony Knight, man. Nah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, my partners, man. So, so they threw this concert, and I mean, actually, these are the guys that own Jamie's Rhythms, Park Avenue, Phenomenon. Yeah. They, all the, all they, the popping clubs. They, they had all, all the price. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So we, we grew up in the in, in the um, club business with those guys. Mm -hmm. The first club that they actually had was um, Dallas Knights mm -hmm. and right in front of Red Bear Mall. Yeah. You know, used to be next to Spud Webb. Or Barbershop. Uh, Barbershop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Snake, Big Al. Yeah. And cast over with the DJs, yeah, yeah. and Trey Fasim was security. <laughs> yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So we was, you know, that was our spot. And yeah. then they went from there to Lexington on Turtle Creek, Lexington, and then Lakeside, yeah. and boom, blew the fuck this up. This was my sister. Then we kind of club. See, I was a young nigga, but I remember her. You remember those names? Yeah. yeah, Lexington and Lakeside. Yeah. I went and to all of them out there by yeah. Bachman and shit. Yeah, exactly. that's where we used to go. Yeah. 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 So. um what well, part of this store was I on? Uh, uh, yeah, I was at the club at the Park Avenue. Park 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 the dude came down, uh, I, was, I was in my car, and I see this guy walking around going to different people. These people standing outside, he's just going around to different people. So he knocked on my door, on my window. And he's got a, he's plain clothes, kind of a slim, slender, tall guy with a cowboy hat on. Mm -hmm. And he he had a picture of Pimp and Bun, the, the, the uh, promo jive glossy picture, black and white. You know uh, these two guys? The, the autograph picture. Yeah, the one you're supposed to autograph. Yeah, yeah. That picture. I said, no, I don't know them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I never seen them before in my life. Uh -oh. And he said, okay. And so he went on to the next place. So I tried to call. Is he white dude? Black dude. Black okay. dude. Black he got dude. a cowboy hat on. Cowboy hat. Yeah. And um, looking like Walker, Texas Ranger. <clears throat> so then he, uh, uh, um, I go upstairs. I try to call him. They don't answer the phone because they in route. 
Mm-hmm. The only route from the Anatole, that was our spot, from mm-hmm. the Anatole to Park Ave. So you know that route from 35 on the water on 75. Yeah. So it's going to take approximately about 20 minutes. So I'm thinking, oh, shit. So they come, Bobo, it's time for you to go on. So I go do my show. And as I finish doing my show, they say, well, Chad, and them, they're in here. So I get off stage, I exit to the left, and I go around to the office of the uh, club owner. And all of them in the Chad Bun, the whole rap a lot, everybody's in there. And Red Boy would open the door. And they said, what's up? I said, say, man, there's a dude downstairs looking for y'all. I don't know what he want, but I know he's law enforcement. And he said, what? They looked around, looked around. Next thing on they said, shit, let's get the fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Red Boy said, let's get the fuck out. And they left. And what happened was the stage, I'm, I'm, I said I was going to talk to y'all about this later. I'll talk to you about it now. See, what happened was James Price, excuse me. I shouldn't have said his name. The I buddy mean, you know, yeah, 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 James Price. They, they probably showed. Them. Yeah, they had um, something had had transpired, and UGK had come down. For, I, I never forget this. I just told the story to a guy in the car. UGK had come to do a show before that, and it was going to be a phenomenon, right? Mm-hmm. And which is right off of six thirty five across from Valley View Mall at that time. And um, I remember. This is right when Lil Keith had just got out of the penitentiary. And so, you know, he's, he's he get out the penitentiary, millionaire. You know, you got all these clubs been running for five, ten years, and bam, we started it together. His clubs and handing them the keys to all the clubs like a true G. Yeah. And so somehow they had, Chad had gotten into it with, Lil, with, with James, and I'm thinking it was dealing with the same situation. You know, mm-hmm. I don't know he's trapped. I don't know exactly, you know, because my mind. Anyway, so... I remember them, we were in, so they had the main part of the club, and then we had this separate, a phenomenon had this separate part, I guess they used to you know, have a little jazz, and they had a stage part, so they went and pulled, Lakeith was trying to play mediator to get, to squash the beef between uh, James, James Price and Pim. And you know, so they went up on the stage, you know, and they huddled all up, and I don't know what was said, but Chad turned into Pim. <laughs> right there, yeah. motherfucker, and, and and so from that point on, I think James felt a, a certain kind of way about Chad. You he know, because he paid it back in, huh? No, 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 no. Money was always straight. Oh, okay. Money was always straight. You know, James Price and him always handled business. Everything was always straight. Sound system, everything. Um, but I just don't know why they got into it. I can't speak on that. But they did get into it. So fast forward to the Park Ave. Mm-hmm. And um, James Price is still, I guess, still kind of salty. So, come find out once all all they had left out, they said that the club owner let all K. Rude and oh, and Run and all the killers from Fort Worth and Oak Cliff in the club. They was in there strapped, strapped. Damn. And it was probably about. 30, 40 rap a lot niggas already in the club before Chad and them had already got there. So it was going to be, a, it was a gangster party. It could be a bloodbath. It was about to be a bloodbath. As soon as seeing them hit that stage, it was going to be something like I, I, I told, I told Beehive, we probably will be talking about that right now. You know what I'm saying? It would have been something Poor, ugly. Yeah, it would have been real yeah. bad. And man. so if I wouldn't have went in there and said, hey, get, you know, this is happening. And really, you more, outside smoking. Yeah. Yeah, and Red Boy didn't have the presence of mind to say, let's get the fuck out. Because they, when I say they left, they immediately got, they, they left so fast that they left their sound man there, Brother Rambo. So it probably I had to take be, Rambo either to the law there. enforcement shit went down or some kind of beef, one of the two of them. Yeah, went. yeah, something yeah. would have happened, You man. saw the law man at first. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Something, something negative would have happened. And you know yeah. what, that, that, and that ain't nothing, and I know y'all hate to hear that's it, that, God. Ain't, that ain't nothing but God. That, that ain't nothing but God. Yeah. That, 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 that was a sign. Nah, because God has moved through my life like that. Yeah, yeah, that that dude coming to that car with that picture like that. showing. That sign, man. I mean, what are the odds of him showing you that picture? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.